A technology that bites you in the nose may not seem like a good thing, but in the case of 3D, it's perfect. A small company in Rochester, New York, has figured out how to make 3D images literally leap off the screen. And they do this without the use of any goggles or headgear. Dimension Technologies Incorporated, or DTI, was started in the late 1980s by Arnie Lagergren and Jesse Eichenlobe. Each man wanted to start his own business, and they were a perfect match. Incredible innovative ideas paired with powerful managerial talent. Today, DTI is still a small firm, only 10 employees, and so each one must wear several different hats at any given time. They may be small, but they think big and have big plans. DTI received a contract award from Ames Research Center, funded through NASA's Small Business Innovation Research, or SBIR, program. Through the working partnership with Ames, DTI developed 3D scientific visualization that allows engineers to examine fluid flow around models of the space shuttle. In 2003, that technology was inducted into the Space Technology Hall of Fame. NASA is currently funding DTI research on a concept for a head tracking device with an enhanced focus. Lagergren believes that NASA's SBIR program has played a large part in the company's success. In effect, that became uh, uh, not only our savior, but gave us the ability to uh, grow our uh, company and develop our technology. DTI is the world leader in making desktop flat panel displays that go from 2D to full color, full motion 3D images with the flip of a switch. What's more, these virtual windows are affordable for the general public. We have what you call a revolutionary technology in that uh, rather than being just a little bit faster or a little bit smaller or whatever, like an evolutionary thing, uh, this changes the way people uh, do things. How does DTI create their unique 3D imagery? Based on parallax view, where each eye sees the same image from a slightly different angle, the company has patented a manufacturing process for their flat panel displays. NASA is just one of many users of DTI's technologies. The gaming industry has widely adopted them. And by adding second party software, movies and games can be displayed in virtual 3D, created by the software and a DTI flat panel. Just as important is NavAir. The firm has been working with NavAir under an SBIR contract to develop technologies for training and simulation that include a projection system with ultra high definition resolution images. NavAir was looking for a higher definition, higher definition or higher resolution products, and uh, we had an answer. The company has developed a prototype of the projection system and screen for NavAir. A couple of well-known companies have already expressed interest in commercializing the technology for home entertainment. Working with the NAVAIR and NASA researchers was incredibly beneficial to DTI. We get smarter as a result of understanding their application. So they're constantly keeping us in good direction and basically showing us the next footprint, the next footprint, the next footprint to be able to come up with a monitor technology that could satisfy their requirements. DTI is now working on a cell phone prototype and Lagergren has a prediction. Eventually the platform is going to be the cell phone. And DTI plans to be there, biting people on the nose.